Chapter 1 Prologue, Golden Sky World You are listening at NovelFull.audio The Golden Sky World, the sky of this world was not blue, rather it was golden, so the name given to it was, Golden Sky, there were billions of life forms living in this vast world and they were further categorized into different races or species. However, between these many races, there are ten races at the top of the food chain of Golden Sky World. The top three of them were, Rank 1st Devils, Rank 2nd Demons, and Rank 3rd Ancient Hunters. Among these top ten races, Rank 4th was, Humans. Humans are known for their cunning nature and intelligent mind, they were second in intelligent after devils. Humans were born with bottomless ambition, they always want more no matter how much you gave them, they will never be satisfied with it. For hundreds of thousands of years, humans tried to overthrow the top three races and wanted to become the master of this world, but failed miserably. Because humans are inferior to the top three races in many aspects, like their bodies are not as powerful and born with supernatural abilities like the demons, or tough minds and blood memory heritage of the devil clans, and they didn't even have the elemental bloodlines of the hunters. Humans have always been on bad terms with other races because of their desire for power. They will never accept being inferior to other races. The things that dragged them down were that they didn't trust each other and fight and scheme among themselves. They're not very united like other races and only show unity when some immense crisis was upon them. That's the biggest reason for the human race's inferiority. There are ten big continents in Golden Sky World. Each continent is distributed between the top ten races according to race strength, or its ranked. The biggest continent is under the control of the devil race and so on. The fourth continent of the Golden Sky World is called Azure. Winds Continent As the name suggests, this continent is famous for its azure winds. On this continent live humans. Human civilization differs from other races. Humans distribute the power structure at different levels. They organize the land of azure, wind into four levels and wasteland. In the wastelands roams bloodthirsty beasts, and it was also home of the humans lowest in status quo. The other four levels of the land are called low, level lands, middle, level lands, high, level lands, and royal, level lands, respectively. There are many cities in low.level lands, and they control wastelands. In middle.level lands are kingdoms, they control the low, level lands. In high.level lands are empires, and they control the middle, level lands. In the royal.level lands reside the ancient sects, they have countless years of history. They control all the empires, or one could simply say the whole azure, wind continent. This is a very strict heritage system established up by the ancient sects that humans have been following for many years. If anyone tries to go against it, no matter if it's a city or kingdom or even an empire, they will be destroyed by the power above them before the ancient sects could even lift a finger. Ancient sects are true overlords of this continent. No one dares to provoke them, everyone treats them with the utmost respect and even if they are on the right and sects are in the wrong, they dare not to point it out. The distributions of the lands are based on the wordly energy called qi density or quality level. Qi is miraculous energy. If someone has a method to utilize it then this qi can help one to gain mysterious supreme abilities, a long lifespan, the ability to fly, and many other things that are impossible for a mortal to do. No one knows where this chi comes from or who gave it its name. But as long as they remember, they called utilizing the chi martial cultivation, and one who used the chi in its body a martial cultivator. The higher the level of the lands is, the denser would chi become. The density of the chi plays a huge role in cultivation speed. That's why everyone wants to go to higher dot level lands, so they could become stronger than others because, in this, world of cultivation, law of jungle rules, power means everything here, and the strong trample the weak. Underscore 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 fourth dot level lands are also known as the lands of cities. Cities distributed in 3.star, 2.star, 
and 1 dot star respectively. 3 dot star is lowest, where 1 dot star is highest. Furthermore, low dot level lands were divided into eastern, western, southern, and northern lands of cities. Northern and western lands are the lands of Wastelandians or simply put it was the area where Wasteland was. Everyone calls the people who live there, Wastelandians. In the eastern lands of cities, there is a two-dot star city near a bank of a beautiful river. There are rows of colorful flowers near the riverbank making its exquisite scenery and the scent of flowers was drifting in the air with a light wind. River, Flower City is the name of the city that is located beside the beautiful riverbank. River Flower City has large city walls and a big bronze city gate that's only open for important and rich people. For commoners, there was a small gate beside the big gate for them to enter and exit the city. The city was divided into two regions, the outer region and the inner region. In the outer region, mostly commoners and mortal lives. However, in the inner region live the nobles and martial cultivators. The city lord mansion was also in the inner region of the city. Life was far tougher for poor commoners in this world. They had to work hard to earn their living. Some of them even become slaves of nobles just to stay alive. In nobles' eyes, they were just like animals with intelligence, they didn't pity them who told them to be born like this right. Underscore 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 in the outer region of river. Flower City. In the most barren part of the city was located slums. People who didn't have money to buy a decent house can always buy cheap huts here. The area of slums was filled with uneven roads with trash scattered everywhere. No one comes here to clean this place regularly. That's why shelter here is so cheap. In a small muddy valley of slums, there was a small rundown hut made of scrap metals. There were some holes in the roof of the little hut. Dot in this rundown dot hut lives someone who's going to change the entire structure of the golden sky world one day. Chapter 2 Ace White You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio River, Flower City outer region, slums area. Inside a small, run-down hut, there was a broken stove. Beside it were two clean clay bowls, and inside them were clay spoons. Other than that, there were some ragged clothes neatly arranged in the hut's corner. In a different corner of the hut, on the floor, lay a little girl in a cocoon of blankets, and despite being tightly wrapped in two blankets, she was still shivering as if she was lying on a block of ice. It seems like she has a terrible cold or fever. Since her face didn't cover with blankets, one could see her cute features. She looks only seven or eight years old, with snow.white skin. Despite being ill, her face was a feast for the eyes. Her face was oval, with a sharp thin little nose, hollow cheeks, and cherry dot like perfect lips. Her tightly shut big eyes and dark light eyebrows were frowning at this moment. All of this doesn't matter because currently, her complexion was so pale there seems to be no blood in her, like a ghost. She's clearly in an extremely weak state. Suddenly the hut almost broken door crack opens and a little boy with a height of 1.7 meters enters in a hurry. He was thin and looked extremely weak by his pale face. Despite his extreme pale complexion, his dark blue eyes were like the starry sky, and he was very handsome. If not for his tattered clothes and skinny body, many girls would have been charmed by him. He quickly approaches the sick little girl and sits beside her. He examines her condition with his skinny hands. After checking her condition, his brows tightly frown forming dark lines on his pale forehead. He seems to be quite anxious at this moment. He gently takes the little girl in his embrace and softly whispers in her ear, Little sis, how are you feeling? Look, big bro, come back with medicine for your cold. It will go away this time as soon as little Alina will take it. His voice was feeble, but it was filled with concern and love. As he said that, he hurriedly takes out the medicine from his pocket. It was wrapped in rough paper packing. When he opens the rough packing, 
two small smooth black pills come to view. These pills look like black pepper. Little Alina, that was almost unconscious, heard her big bro voice, and slowly she opens her eyes with extreme difficulty. A pair of beautiful blue watery eyes were revealed, but alas, they were dull and blurry because of her weak state. Alina speaks with a trembling and feeble voice, B. B. Big B. Bro Ace. Her voice was weak, but there was a hint of love and happiness in it. It thrilled Alina to see her big bro holding her in his embrace. But she was so weak that she could only say big bro with all her strength. Seeing her like this, Ace felt extremely heartbroken and sighed in sadness. Ace gently stalked her black hair and smiled faintly. He didn't want to show Alina his painful expression. He took one of the small black pills and fed her with extreme care. After making sure she swallowed the pill, he said faintly with a smile on his face, little Alina going to be alright in no time with this alchemy medicine. Just rest and big bro will take care of you until you'll become healthy again, okay? Ace was reassuring her, or maybe himself. It doesn't matter since he was quite anxious about her. She was his only family in this vast world, and he will let nothing happen to her until he lives. Underscore 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 Let go a couple of years in past, Ace White. His parents give him this name because they think this name sounds good to hear and easy to remember by others. Unfortunately, his parents went missing in wastelands when he was only four years old. They were low-dot-level cultivators doing hunting in wastelands for a living. Since they didn't come back for almost a year, the city officials declare them dead. Beov Little Ace lived with his grandparents when he heard the news of his parents' death. He mourned for months after finding out about this heart-dot-shattering news. Seeing him like this, his grandparents were also very heartbroken. The shock of his parents' death started to settle down after some time. He slowly accepted that his dad and mom would never come back, so his grandparents were everything for him, and he cherished them dearly. However, their living conditions began to decline after one year of his parents' death. When they were still around, they didn't need to worry about the food or clothing, but now that they were gone, things changed quickly. After three years of his parents' death, little Ace turns eight this year when another tragedy befalls him. His grandma passed away from an extreme fever. He cries for a long time with his old grandpa beside him. After his grandma, his grandpa can't take the grief of her departure with his old heart. He became ill and passes away four months after her. Now little Ace was alone in this heartless world. He worked as a dishwasher in the same restaurant where his grandma used to work before her death. The owner simply took pity on the poor little alone boy. After the trauma of his grandparents' death, he became a silent child and rarely speaks to anyone else. He has no friends of his age. When he watches other children with their parents, he would cry in his house at night alone, where no one can hear or soothe him. Two years pass in a flash. In two years, little Ace became somewhat tall, but his complexion was very skinny. He still works as a dishwasher for some copper coins in the same restaurant and earns his meals. From his emotionless eyes, he seems like a mature person despite his young and tender age. Time has left a deep scar on his little heart. He has even forgotten when the last time he was smiling. On one chilly night, he was walking home after his work when he heard someone's cry from a dark valley. From the voice, one could tell that it was the voice of a small child. Ace frowns a little and immediately puts his guard up and vigilantly took small steps toward the small valley. Chapter 3 Little Alina you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ace moves toward the dark valley vigilantly. Cries of a child keep coming from the valley from time to time again. When Ace reached the valley, it was dark. He only saw a little silhouette in the valley's corner with the dim light of the moon. When he hears the crying voice was coming from the little silhouette, he relaxes a little and slowly walks towards it. 
By hearing the mellow voice, Ace guesses this child is probably a little girl. The little girl hears footsteps approaching her and immediately becomes alert. She stops crying and looks at the owner of footsteps with her teary yet intelligent eyes. She becomes scared after thinking someone is approaching her with bad intentions. She suppresses her fear and tension and starts clenching her small fist. The little girl is ready for a fight. Ace didn't see clearly but he could vaguely see the little girl stop crying and clench her fist as if she would fight him if he approaches her. He couldn't help but admire her courage. She looked like four or five years old by her height and voice. Ace guessed with a hint of interest in his eyes. Even with dim moonlight, the valley was still quite dark, so he couldn't see her appearance. Ace walks a little closer and stops two meters away from the little girl because he didn't want to scare her any further. Ace lightly said to the little girl, I don't have any bad motives and I'm only here because I heard your cries. Where are your parents? Do you got separated from them? Ace asks as gently as possible just to not scare her, but his voice was a little hoarse as if he didn't speak for a long time, and the little girl didn't answer him either. It seems she's afraid of me. Ace smiled bitterly. He also didn't expect her to talk with a stranger in this kind of place, either. If it was him in her shoes, he would have done the same or he might have yelled out loud for help long ago. This little thing was still quite brave to stand silently there and let him speak first without yelling in fear. Look, it is late at night and there might be some bad guys near. If you don't want to get caught by them, go to your parents or house. It's extremely dangerous to be here by all yourself. Ace earnestly warns her, he didn't want her to be kidnapped by those thugs around the area. Ace has been crossing this area for almost four years and knew just how dangerous this area was. Once he was caught by thugs when he was passing here and after finding out that he was dirt poor, they only beat him up and let him go. He didn't dare to imagine what would they do to this little girl. Since he has already warned her now, it was her choice to listen or not. Ace turns around and began walking towards the exit of the valley. When the little girl hears his warning and somehow she could tell this person didn't have any evil intention. She becomes less vigilant and when she saw this person was about to leave. Panic appears on her face and she became afraid after thinking about something. W. Wait. The little girl call in her childish mellow voice when Ace heard her voice for the first time, he was little stunned and think in bewilderment, how can someone's voice be so beautiful? It was quite normal for him to think like this since he never even talked with anyone, much less a girl of his age. Ace turns around and glance at her again. The little girl noticed his stare and said faintly, I don't know where my parents are and what they look like. When Ace hears her lovely voice again, he bewilders for a second and asks softly, then why are you in this kind of place and crying alone by yourself? Hearing Ace's question, the little girl suddenly remembers something and starts crying again as if someone hit her. When Ace saw her crying again, he feels little pain in his heart that has been gone cold for a long time. What happens? He quickly asks her in confusion. The girl said while crying weakly, I'm hungry. When Ace heard this, it stunned him for a moment, and unknowingly, a smile creep out on his face. She's just a child after all. I have food in my house if you have nowhere to go come with me. Ace didn't know why he said that but seeing a small child like her in this situation he couldn't help but think of himself for all those years ago. Maybe Ace saw his old innocent self in her. He didn't know nor did he have the answer. But for some peculiar reason, he just wants to help her. The little girl immediately stops crying after listening to Ace's offer. She deeply looks at the person in front of her. She couldn't see his face, but from his voice and stature, she could easily guess that he's also young, and seems sincere. In the end, she was still an innocent little girl so when she thought that he's sincere with the offer, okay let's go. She agrees to go with him. It's not like she can't protect herself if things go awry. Ace has a sigh of relief when she accepts to go with him because after exchanging some words with her, he didn't want to leave her alone in this palace. Now that she accepts his offer, Ace felt relief for some reason. 
Ace didn't want to stay here for long and he turns around and walk toward the exit of the valley. The little girl follows behind him. When they came out, dim moonlight was shining on the street and both of their faces become obvious. Ace was a little curious and couldn't help but turn around to look at the little girl's face. But when he saw her face, it bewitched him. Her face was oval with milky dot white skin, a sharp thin nose, hollow cheeks, and thin cherry lips. Her big watery blue eyes were shining like stars and her long black falling hair was complementing her pale skin perfectly. She was like a sculpture carved by a divine artisan. Ace was instantly captivated by her otherworldly cuteness and his heartbeat races, she's so cute, this is the only thought that comes to his mind. The little girl also looks back at Ace. The handsome face of the little boy also overwhelmed her, especially his dark blue eyes like a starry sky. He was a little skinny, but nothingness, he was handsome. Suddenly their eyes met and time was as if it stopped. Both of their faces redden and they quickly avert their gazes. The atmosphere between them becomes a little awkward after that. Ace quickly began walking toward his little house to hide his embarrassment. The little beauty hurriedly follows behind him. She also didn't know what happened, but that was not something good that she knows. Ace was walking silently in front but his heart was still pounding and a sudden thought surfaced his mind as he said to break the strange mood, what is your name? The little girl answers after some consideration, Alina. Alina huh, good name. Ace thinks as he feels delighted for some reason. After some hesitation, the little girl finally asks back, what's yours? Ace. He answers without even thinking. After some time, they reach Ace's house. It was a normal size house and the only thing that his parents have left for him. He opens the door, and the inside was extremely neat clean. He's living alone in here for three years now. A little boy like him, who survives alone until now, was proof of his unyielding and clever nature. Come in. A said to Alina as he enters the house. Alina follows him inside after a brief hesitation. Ace makes some special dishes for himself and little Alina for dinner. He learned to cook from his grandma when she was alive, and now he was an excellent cook himself. He also has saved some silver coins with all these years of work and since he lives alone, Ace spent little on himself. So, he could afford to feed her one or two good meals. Money system in lands of sites or low, level lands. One ruby coin equals 100 gold coins, one GC equals 100 silver coins, one SC equals 100 bronze coins, when little Alina saw those warm dishes on the table, she salivated. Her stomach growls and can't hold herself back any longer. With little care for Ace, who was watching her from the side, she ate crazily. He couldn't help but smile. She seems like a little hungry ghost after dinner. Ace was about to go to wash the empty plates when he saw little Alina was looking at him with a strange gaze as if he was her father or something. He finds it quite amusing and cute. Before little Alina looks at him like he was a wolf who'll eat her alive. But now she looks more cheerful and friendly than before. She said with a cheerful smile, thank you big brother Ace. Her smile was very cute to look at. Ace feels warm in his little heart when she calls him big bro. How long has it been since he feels like this? Looking at the innocent little girl, his eyes feel hot when he touches them. There were tears in them. Maybe they were because of all those years of loneliness or he finally found someone to talk to he didn't know. He was just happy for the first time in many years. He quickly clears moist from his eyes and said with a warm smile, you're welcome. You can stay here as well if you like. Little Alina becomes extremely happy to hear this because she has nowhere to go. And this big bro seems quite a pleasant person. Most importantly, he cooks delicious food. How do you get into the city if you didn't have parents or any other relative? Ace finally asks a serious question. How come a little girl came to the city with no harm and those guards at the city gate didn't even stop her if she was alone? Ace was very confused about this matter. That's why he asked her directly. 
When she heard the question, she seems to remember something and her eyes get teary as she spoke in a dejected tone, I was living with my old grandpa in the forest but yesterday when I was playing in the forest old grandpa come to me and said he has something to do so we have to leave the forest and take me in this place called a city. After we come here, he drops me in that valley where we meet early, and before leaving, he promised to me. He'll come back after taking care of the important business and I have to wait for him there obediently. As she recalls what has happened today, she cries again. Ace was intelligent and could make some guess what had happened after. It seems that old grandpa has abandoned her or he meet with some trouble doing something. So that's how little Alina was left alone. After crying for some time, little Alina fell asleep. She was extremely tired after her ordeal. For an entire week, he and Alina would go to the same dark valley and wait for her old grandpa to return, but he never returned. Alina became sad, but she slowly accepts that her grandpa has abandoned her or he was going to do something important somewhere else. Underscore 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 That's how in Ace's lonely life came a little sister. He was very fond of her. After some time, little Alina opens up to Ace, and she considers him as a real big brother. Ace always takes care of her and told her stories and played with her. Ace becomes happy again as he spends more time with Alina. Finally, in his bitter life, spring comes again in the face of Alina, and the scars from the past heal. That's how a year passed in happiness and joy. But by the start of winter, little Alina got sick. First, it wasn't serious, with some medicine she could get healthy again. But after a week, her illness acts again, and it is much worse this time. Dot Ace grows terrified of this as his childhood trauma begins to act and he panicked because his parents and grandparents leave him one by one and now his little sister also fell ill. How could he take it easy? If something happens to her. He didn't dare to imagine something like this, so he did everything he could to cure her strange illness. However, after four months, her illness didn't go away. It was very strange sometimes it would act and sometimes it would show signs of curing. But no matter what kind of medicine he feeds her, they just couldn't work. Many doctors check Alina's condition and they all say, it was just a cold and she will become better after taking some medicine. But Ace has a terrible feeling about this and thought it was not the case of a simple cold and something was wrong with her. After mulling over it for some time, Ace finally makes a hard decision. He sells his parents' house for 10 gold coins. Since normal medicine was not working, Ace bought alchemy pills. Alchemy pills were made by almighty alchemists, who were profound in the way of wondrous medicines. But those alchemy pills were very expensive. That's why he makes this tough decision to sell his parents' house. Chapter 4 I'll Steal from Heaven Itself You are listening at NovelFull.audio Present, today Ace goes toward the alchemy shops in the outer region pill market to buy alchemy pills for Alina. Ace bought two black alchemy pills from a famous alchemy shop with eight gold coins. Since he knew little about the pill market after asking around, he found this shop and bought pills from here. Now he only left with one gold coin after he purchased a rundown dot hut in the slums for one gold coin. He was determined to save his little sister, no matter the cost. In a hurry, little did Ace notice shimmering disdain in the shop owner's eyes when he bought those two black pills. After Ace left the shop owner's lips move upwards, he smirks cunningly and scornfully. Underscore 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 After feeding Alina that black alchemy pill, Ace lets her rest for the night. Early in the morning, Ace wasn't able to sleep in anxiety. He was like this for three days now. He checks Alina's condition for the tenth time again, but to his dismay, there is still not even the slightest bit of improvement in little Alina's illness. Ace assumed something was amiss with those black pills because before selling his old house, 
he inquiry about these alchemy pills and knew just how miraculous these pills made by alchemy were. These pills can even heal the illness much worse than his sister's, but this pill is still not working on her. He was unconvinced about these alchemy pills will also not work on Aline like other medicines as well. Ace went back to the pill market again. However, this time he will go to another not.so.famous pill shop of the outer region pill market. Ace spotted a little pill shop much meek than the last pill shop and went inside. There was an old man, seemingly in his sixties, sitting in a long chair behind a small counter. He has white short hair a long white beard on his wrinkly face. When the old man saw Ace's skinny appearance and then little tattered clothes on his body, he instantly knows he was a poor kid. The old shop owner was a kind dot nature person, so he didn't chase him away immediately. He asks with a benevolent smile on his face, little brat, what do you want? Seeing the old man's kind smile and his friendly way of speech, his tight nerve loosens a bit, and he spoke respectively to the old shop owner. Sir, yesterday I bought these alchemy pills from a famous alchemy shop near here for my ill sister. But it isn't working on her illness at all. Can sir, please inspect this pill and tell me if it's not what she needs and requires some other pill. As Ace made his request, he takes out that remaining black pill from his pocket and shows it to the old shop owner. The old man smiled kindly after hearing Ace's little request and he took the black pill from his hand and examined it seriously. The old man takes a little whiff of his old nose and his smile instantly froze. He looks at the black pill gravely first and then at little Ace, who was nervously waiting there with both hands clenched together. Sigh. Old man sighed in pity as he looks at Ace and feels quite bad for this poor little boy. Ace saw the old man's grave expression and his heart nearly jump out of his chest because he knew something was extremely wrong. After a moment of silence, the old man said grimly, this is a fail pill, meaning it has no healing or curing ability in it. Simply put, it's just a piece of trash. Sigh. When Ace hear this he thought the world around him turned dark and he nearly lost his sentience. But he forces himself to remain composed because he could tell that old fat face bastard has duped him and he can't do anything about it, so this tension would only harm him more. He can't afford to fall into depression at a time like this when his sister's condition was still unknown. That fat bastard. Ace curses that fat shop owner millions of times in his heart since he can't do anything to him other than curse silently. Ace takes a deep breath and suppressed his boiling anger. Ace could guess this old man is a very kind dot hearted person. He appraises the pill, asking nothing from him. Because Ace knew if it was someone else in the old man's shoes, he would have kicked him out of the shop the moment he asks that kind of question or asks for compensation. Because no one wants a poor commoner like him to step into their shops. Mostly rich merchants, especially in the pill market, disdain the poor and common people like him. Sir, thank you for your kindness. I'll remember this favor in my heart. After sincerely said those words to the old man. Ace instantly bows deeply after that as he asks with a pleading but resolute voice, Can sir, tell me what kind of pill I need to cure my little sister's illness? Ace wanted to know what kind of pill will cure his sister's ailment and, most importantly, its price. Since he has already lost his money that he won't be getting back, even if he reports it to the city guard post, he has to raise the money by some other method. The old man becomes astonished and moves by Ace's determined eyes and his firm attitude. From your description, the illness of your sister resembles nerve cold illness. It's a rarely seen condition, so you need a nerve heating pill to cure it. It is a very expensive pill. It will cost you one ruby coin. One ruby coin equals 100 gold coins. When little Ace heard the cost of this nerve heating pill, he nearly collapsed there. It's too damn expensive. Even if he had his 10 gold coins, he would have still missing 90 gold coins. It was an impossible amount for a poor person like him, even if he sold himself. Ace asks while clenching his teeth, Sir, can this pill be able to cure my sister's illness? He asks for confirmation one last time. 
The old man nodded after seeing Ace's firm determination because if it was some other commoner just after hearing the price of one ruby coin, he would have fallen into despair already. However, this little boy's willpower is on another level. The old man replies while grinning broadly, I stake my Gale Gallo's name in it. This pill can cure your sister's illness 90.9%. When A sees the old man, Gale grinned at him he felt at ease. He nodded seriously and turns around, leaving the old man Gale alchemy shop. While Ace was going back to slums, he saw that fatty bastard shop, and see that fatty was smiling ear to ear as he was counting gold coins. You'll suffer heaven's retribution one day. Ace grinds his teeth in anger and curses him more fiercely in his heart. He wishes he could steal that shameless fatty gold coins. Just as he was cursing and thinking about stealing from that fatty bastard, he reaches his home, Ace just opens the door of the hut when he saw Alina trembling even more and understood her condition was worsening. He rushes to her side and quickly hugs her tightly. She was freezing when he hugs her. Alina was suffering from extreme cold when she felt warmth and immediately know her big bro was back. A weak smiles bloom on a fairy dot-like face and she feels a little better. Ace's eyes fill with tears when he saw Alina's weak smile and thought faintly. Life is extremely unfair to me. First my parents, then my grandparents, and now my only little sister is going to leave me like them. No. Ace shouts out loud subconsciously. He muttered softly, I didn't want anyone dear to me to even dies again. His voice soared, I want to fight against this unfair life. I want to fight against this unfair corrupted world, I want to even fight against this damn unfair heaven itself. In the end, there was nothing but bitterness and resentment left in his heart. Just give the damn power and I'll fight you all who wanted to steal my sister from me. His mind was in a mess after seeing Alina's peaceful expression as if he was watching those icy bodies of his grandparents all those years ago. All the frustration, pain, and loneliness that was hidden deep in his heart for all those years come out like a tidal wave. Right, when he was denouncing and challenging the unfairness of everything, a strange thought surfaces in his mind, it was just a silly thought. It was so silly and out of this world that he laughs with tears flowing from his eyes. He thinks, everyone is stealing from me. What if I have a power that can help me to steal from anything, even heaven itself? Even if I would become a criminal of heaven, even if I would become a criminal of ages I would still steal from you all if it means happiness of my dear ones. I would steal everything, from this life, these detestable people, and this unfair high, heaven. Underscore 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 suddenly the golden sky of the golden sky world became pitch black, and everything fell into darkness with not a speck of light left. As if darkness was here paying a personal visit to this small world. This sudden blackness alarmed every race in the world. Everyone thought a calamity was going to befall them. Abruptly, inky lightning clouds formed in the back sky. One could vastly view the flashing lightning and heard loud thunderclaps now and then. It was an enchanting sight to behold. This scenario alarmed every top expert of the golden sky world. The inky clouds form a huge dark hole with lightning encircling it or a pitch dot black portal with lightning as a source of energy. No one knows what that huge thing was, but everyone only has one thought in their minds and that was, a disaster is about to descend. However, out of everyone's expectation, a single dark blue lightning descends with a thundering roar. Boom! A thunder boom echoes everywhere across the world. Something even more absurd happens, that dark blue lightning didn't fade like normal lightning and instantly darts towards a specific direction like a shooting star, but it was more clear for everyone to see. It was as if this dark blue light has a life of its own. It turns into a beam of dark blue light and it was so fast that it disappeared in a flash. 
Everyone was flabbergasted by this sudden turn of events because after that beam of light vanished from everyone's view, the dark sky and clouds returned to normal as if nothing has happened. No one knows what that strange lightning was, but since it was a world of cultivation, they instantly think that it was a heavenly treasure that falls from heaven. Some top experts of every race headed towards the light's direction. But the light was so fast no one was able to catch or chase after it. Its last direction was towards the human continent, the Azure Wind Continent. Top sects of the Azure Wind Continent were included in all this and when the experts of the ancient sects realized was coming in their direction, they immediately become happy, but they also couldn't catch up with that beam of dark blue light, it quickly disappears towards the lower, level lands. Underscore 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 meanwhile river, flower city in slums area. After a burst of his emotions, Ace was finally calmed down and felt quite ridiculous after thinking of his absurd concept of stealing from heaven itself. Dot, no one can steal from heaven. Ace sighed helplessly. A beam of dark blue light swiftly enters the river, Flower City. Its direction was shockingly towards the slums area. It was so fast that no one noticed its arrival. In a flash, it enters slums and its target was a rundown hut with holes on its roof. It stops and hovers above the hut roof as if it were observing the little boy inside who was crying and cursing heaven while holding a little beautiful girl in his embrace. The beam of dark blue light flashes and it directly enters the boy's head. Its trace of existence disappears like it never existed. The little boy was none other than Ace. He was just about to go out to look for a way to collect a roby coin when he suddenly felt being hit by a melting iron road and felt this head split apart. He faints on the spot. The last thing Ace remembers before fainting was hearing a sweet crispy voice in his head saying. The installation began. Chapter 5 Eternal Thief System You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. After 12 hours of deep slumber, Ace opened his heavy eyelid with some difficulty. He was still in a stupor because of yesterday's incident. However, the next moment, the pain faded. When that pain was finally gone, Ace strangely feel refreshed for some unknown reason. Ace remembers what has happened yesterday when a sudden pain attacked him and he fainted after that. That was strange. Did I get punished by heaven for blaspheming it? Ace whiffled his head as he smiles wryly, maybe it was from the stress after all I didn't sleep for three days. Ace quickly get rid of that ridiculous notion because if heaven was so open-handed to even punish him, then this world didn't have any evil. BL.net while assuming about what has occurred, Ace caught the sight of his sleeping little sister, that was sound asleep in his embrace. Yet, her body was still icy cold. Ace's expression instantly darkened when he thought about one ruby coin he needed to earn as soon as possible for that pill. One ruby coin equals 100 gold coins, Ace was about to get ready to go out into the city and find some task with high pay. He has some idea where he should go to earn one ruby coin. I have to go outside the city for hunting, mumble Ace to himself. Ace was just about to get up from the rug when he hear a familiar yet unfamiliar icy voice in his head. Installation complete. Ace was frightened and nearly jumped when out of nowhere he heard the sweet yet crisp voice of a lady. He hurriedly looks around himself but no one was there except Alina. Ace holds her firmly and keeps searching his surrounding vigilantly as if he was facing an enemy. But no matter how much he looks no one was there. Ace abruptly remembers the voice he hears was the same voice he heard before he loses consciousness. What is this voice and where is it coming from? Am I haunted by a ghost? When he thought of a ghost he became pale with fright. Ace has heard plenty of stories about ghosts and evil spirits from the restaurant owner where he works. That old restaurant owner always tells his grandson stories about ghosts, like once a ghost possessed a kid, and then eats his soul. Ace always heard these kinds of stories with great interest and now he was extremely afraid of ghosts and evil spirits. He was going to chant some prayers that he once heard from the old restaurant owner when the emotionless voice buzzed in his head again. 
Congratulation, the Eternal Thief system selects you as a host. What in the hell? He was going to swear out loud but forced stop himself because he was holding Alina in his one arm and he didn't want to shake her. Ace immediately starts chanting the old owner's prayers in his head like crazy, O Gideli Dikt Kiel, even he didn't know what these words meant, but he heard the old restaurant owner say when you see a ghost just chant them and the ghost will be gone forever. In ten seconds, Ace didn't hear the voice, and he thought that the restaurant owner's chants were working. He becomes a little smug and was just about to celebrate his grand victory against the lady ghost when the lady's voice sounded again in his head. Host current privilege is at level zero. The details about level zero privilege are about to transfer into host brain. Transfer begin. Please brace yourself host. This time the voice didn't sound emotionless as before. It sounds like it's chuckling at Ace's simplicity. Ace was scared out of his wits after hearing this ghost lady voice again and was just about to run from the hut with Alina in arms when abruptly he felt something drill into his brain. Ace instantly hold his head because of extreme pain but he didn't scream because Alina was still close to him. Even in this extreme pain, he was still thinking about his little sister's well dot being. Ace's teeth were clenched tightly. This pain was just like yesterday's, but this time, it wasn't intolerable. After 10. Second, the pain subjugated and was finally gone. Ace regains his senses again. He didn't care about anything right now, because this was his only chance to escape. He stands up with some difficulty, but his expression was determined. He would take his little sister out of this ghost house to safety, no matter what. Ace's heavy steps halted when he feels something foreign in his brain and the moment his focus was shifted on that foreign part, it converts into strange memories. These strange memories became Ace's. Ace was very confused about this sudden turn of events. Didn't ghosts supposed to eat souls and possess the bodies? Those foreign memories settled, and now he can appraise them. Ace didn't know why he tapped into those memories, but a voice deep inside kept telling him to see what it was and when he did. Ace was startled at first, but the next moment he becomes astonished, and his astonishment turns into hysteria. Ace was so shocked that he nearly forgets about his worries and his ill little sister who was still in his embrace. After some time, he regains his sense. Ace glance around his surrounding fiercely as if he was confirming something. After making sure that there was no one in or outside the hut, he finally relaxed a little. After fully calmed down, his emotions set down beside his sister. But no matter what he does, he can't calm down his wildly pounding heart that was beating like a crazy drum. Ace didn't dare to believe in those absurd memories, but deep down he wanted to confirm and truly wish that all of it was true. That's why he first check his surroundings, because if these memories were real then he didn't dare to imagine what would he do. Ace takes a deep breath and said in a low voice, status. The moment he said that world something unimaginable happens, a transparent black block begins to forms in front of Ace's eyes. When it was completely formed it was black but there was silver strange markings imprint on it and on top of that black transparent block was engraved dark blue markings that were glowing in golden color. The black block is called a panel. These markings were a language that was foreign to this world and it's called the ancient language of gods now, only Ace can read it or understand it in this entire world because he learns it with his level zero privileges memories. He can even speak it as if he has been learning it from birth. After seeing the status thing was real, A starts felt extreme happiness and immense relief. If it wasn't for his sister and worried about his surrounding areas, he would have laughed like a maniac. He calms down. But there were tears of happiness in his eyes as he read status. Underscore 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 eternal thief system main panel host ace white race human no bloodline, heaven. 
First Heaven Mortal Sky Heaven, Cultivation Level of First Heaven, Martial Cultivation. Mortal, EXP, 0 slash 50, EXP equals Experience Points, Soul Cultivation. Mortal, SP, 0 slash 20, SP equals Soul Points, Thief Points, TP. 15, Current Mission. 0, Underscore 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 when A sees his status. It stunned him because there were so many details. Then he looked at the top right corner of the main panel. There was a silver symbol that was glowing. It looks like a cape. It was his status panel symbol. Then his focus turned to the third column of his status and was extremely confused by the word first heaven. Was there more heavens? He wondered. The name of the first heaven is mortal sky heaven. Ace couldn't help but think that he was just a frog in the well. He never even went outside of the River Flower City and now he suddenly learns the grand name of heaven itself. It was a very special feeling. As he was looking at his other status columns, he saw his cultivation status and smiled bitterly. He was just a mortal. When he saw experience points and soul points, he was confused, what are these for? Ace transmitted his voice in his mind. This a method to communicate with the system treasure he found in memories. EXP and SP are amounts of chi required for the host to reach the next level of cultivation. Ace wasn't afraid of this icy voice anymore because he was the master of this treasure called system. However, what kind of treasure it was he does not know. But this system even knows about heaven's name. This system treasure is not from this world this was his conclusion. How do I collect this EXP and SP then? System answer again but different this time, host has to find out by himself. Ace was dumbfounded by the answer. He asks a different question this time after some thinking, then what are thief points, TP, dot. This was the only status that was not zero for the start and he even had 15 of them. He was thrilled about this, but there was a thief word there in it and he felt uneasy for some reason. Host can earn thief points, TP, after every successful honorable thievery. Thief points are the currency of system. What do you mean by stealing or thievery? Do you want me to become a thief and since when did robing someone become honorable? Do you break yourself? Ace was bewildered. He was just 12 years old, but he never did anything immoral like stealing. Even if he was poor, he will never do this kind of thing. Now, this treasure telling him to steal and it even dares to say it's honorable, he nearly went frantic. Host carefully read the name of system. It said, giving no further explanation. Now that Ace was calmed down, he focuses on the top of the transparent black panel. On there were written only words in dark blue color with a golden glow, Eternal Thief System. Those words were extremely dominated and there was some kind of power hidden in them. When Ace read the full name of this system treasure, there was also a thief in there, he rubs his eyes and saw it again making sure he didn't make any mistake but no matter how many times he saw it there was still thief there. Ace's happiness at obtaining a supreme treasure was instantly gone in smoke. Because he knew he was in some kind of trouble. Chapter 6 First mission you are listening at novel full dot audio. Ace knew he was in trouble because he didn't have any choice in this matter now since he can't throw this system treasure away he didn't even know where it was hiding. Ace knew that this system was in his body though because every time its voice sounded in his head and only he can see the panel or hear it. He also thinks that this system treasure would not harm him because he was the system's master. The fact was, his life will not be normal anymore. Ace thinks of another commanding word that can control the system and thought, system shop, one the transparent panel change into another one and the on the top right a new symbol glowed in silver. It was like a cart. 
underscore 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 system shop available skill books available cultivation technique available weapons available pills underscore 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 four glowing options in silver appear on the panel there was a symbol of a book with a blank eye for skill books round pill with nine circles for pills cross swords for weapons and as for techniques there was a book with a coin engraved on its cover in front of every option was their name in the language of ancient gods ace becomes a little excited after reading all the options and hurriedly communicates with the system through his mind show me available pills it filled his heart with anticipation and excitement because if this system is some kind of supreme treasure then it should have some extraordinary abilities Maybe he can heal his sister without that pill. The glowing screen change again. Underscore 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 system shop available pills. Basic level healing pills can heal any serious injury and disease below Heavenly Chi River Realm price 25 thief points tp per pill a basic level heaven chi recovery pills can instantly recover heavenly chi price 10 thief points tp per pill lowest level heaven stealer pills price 150 thief points tp per pill five pills available underscore 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 when he saw the description of the basic healing pill and its use ace becomes so excited that was going to jump with happiness he didn't even see another word he didn't know what that heavenly chi river realm was and even if he knows he wouldn't even care about it because his eyes were fixed only on those three words, heal any disease. He hurried demands loudly, system gives me a basic healing pill now. But he only gets an emotionless answer, no enough thief points, tp, what? He was just going to curse the system when he suddenly remembered about thief points. Ace took another glance at the system shop panel hurriedly and finally spots a prize column of hole 25, tp, right below the healing pill. He only has 15, TP. There were also other pills, but he didn't know what they're used for and didn't care at all so he ignored them. Ace finally calms down a bit and thought grimly, do I have to steal to earn thief points, TP? No, I have to do that. It's better than earning one ruby coin and I still didn't know if that pill will work or not. Although that old Gale gives grantee and he seemed to be a nice person but I can't trust anyone but myself. He takes a deep breath and asks calmly, System, tell me what things I have to steal to earn thief points, TP, Eddie, missions given by the system and any kind of honorable thieveries, Ace hurriedly see the mission column on his main panel but there was currently zero. How will I get missions? Missions will trigger based on a host life special events and when some special conditions satisfy the criteria set by the system. Ace became speechless, how the hell I'm supposed to trigger these life events? He yells in his mind furiously, this system is no help at all. It just spouting bullshit. Just as he was about to give up on the idea of doing a mission, he hears the system's sweet voice again. A new mission is available. What didn't it say it only triggered by some bullshit events? Ace mutter in confusion. But then he becomes happy with this immediate coincidence, I can finally earn thief points, TP, without doing the robbing stuff. Ace thinks happily as he opens the mission panel in excitement. It was a hand holding a coin symbol. Underscore 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 mission panel revenge mission 
steal all the treasure from shop number 8 in River Flower City Outer Region Pill Market. Let that fat shop owner know an honorable thief can't be cheated. Rewards based on host performance, days left. 7. Mission Failure Punishment Death, underscore 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 Ace was extremely happy when he saw the mission, but when he finally saw what the mission was, his joyous expression changed to an angry one. W. What it wants me to steal from that fatty shop just for revenge. I admit I want to smash that bastard shop with stone and steal his gold coins. But I just said that in anger it's not like I want to do it even I want to do it, how the hell am I supposed to do it? The outer pill market security is tight at night and every shop has its security. Ace mull over it angrily. He angrily saw the mission panel, then his eyes landed on the reward section. Performance Confused by the reward, his eyes go down on time section, 7 days even if it was 70 days I can't do it no matter what. When Ace's eyes landed on the punishment section, he was a pause for a moment, then he started rubbing his eyes to confirm if he saw nothing wrong. Ace saw again, but there was still a death word there. He even waves his hand to see if the panel screen had dust on it but his hand had gone through it. After confirming it was the word death. Ace nearly had a stroke and he couldn't take it anymore. He cursed this black dot hearted system as he barked, Honorable thief your own them. Ace was so angry and terrified that his eyes turned bloodshot and even forget about Alina right next to him. Alina was jolted awake by Ace's scream and asked in a weak voice, W. What H. Happened. She was still in a stupor state and didn't know what happened to Ace, but she was quite worried about him. Ace was shock awakened from his mad dot like mental state when he heard little Alina's worried voice and he quickly reassures her, and dot no dot nothing happens. Big Bro was just scarred by a rat. When little Alina heard his silly excuse, she smiles weakly just as she wanted to say something but no words came out because she faints while smiling. When A saw this, his anger and fear faded like smoke and he quickly holds little Alina in his arm and said in a panicked voice, Little Sis. Alina. No matter how much he calls or shook her, she didn't answer him. Ace felt a surge of anxiety raising over him because Alina's body temperature was dropping and he could feel extremely cold in his hand just by holding her with blankets. He forgets about the death punishment that the system has given him a moment ago and said in a begging tone, System, please give me that pill and I will rob whoever you told me to just give it to me right now. He was even ready to sell his soul to the devil, much less a trifling robbery. But he was destined to disappoint. Rewards can only be given on mission completion. System response emotionlessly. Ace's breathing becomes rigid after hearing the answer, will I lose her like everyone. Just as he was going to plead again with everything he has system spoke again, but system can diagnose this girl for one thief point, tp, dot. Ace becomes silent when he hears this and thought angrily, she can't give me tp but wants it instead. Ace grinds his teeth and said, do it. At least it was much better than old Gale's diagnosis that he just randomly guess and Ace also wanted to see this thing's capabilities as well. If it was a supreme treasure, then he didn't mind becoming a thief. A dark blue light shone in Ace's eyes and he was surprised because he can see information floating on Alina's head. It was exactly like his status panel. Underscore 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 Alina Silver, race. Hunter, Ice Elemental Bloodline, Cultivation Level. Chi Gates Realm, First Gate, Weak State. She is currently going through her bloodline awakening. She needs an extreme ice chi pill to successfully awaken her elemental bloodline. But if she didn't get any extreme ice chi pill, she will die in three days. 
underscore 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 when Ace saw her status, he was completely dumbfounded by this and bark out loud, you are saying she is not human and a legendary hunter who lives on Blood Continent. Blood Continent was where the third rank race of the Golden Sky World, the Hunters live and it was much bigger than the Azure Wind Continent of the human race. Ace was very confused at this moment, how a hunter appeared in River Flower City. The funniest thing is a hunter becomes my little sister. Ace lament and is completely taken over by this sudden truth. Ace saw she was also a cultivator and didn't know what realm this Chi Gate was, but when he compares it with his mortal status, it was something extraordinary. He couldn't help but look back at unconscious Alina profoundly. She didn't even tell me her full name. Ace sighed and become extremely calm after seeing her status. Ace has some thoughts about her identity first and presumes that she wasn't normal from start. Because how could a little girl come to the city and remain unharmed and even accept the offer of going to a stranger's house instantly? However, he never would have dreamed that she was not even a human altogether. Maybe the reason for him not to question her before was that he was alone in this world and she filled a deep hole in his heart. So she didn't have that nerve cold disease either. It is her hunter bloodline that was awakening. Doesn't that mean that the heart heating pill would also not have worked on her either? His expression darkens even more after thinking about it. If not for the system, he would have killed her with his ignorance. Ace spoke with a calm yet serious expression, system, I know you're not from this world and I also know you chose me for some special reason and you even have so many abilities that even I didn't know about them yet. But I know you need me and I need you. So just tell me do have that extreme ice chi pill or not. Now was not the time for him to worry about himself he only has three days, and this all dot knowing black dot hearted system was his only light in this darkness. Yes. How much? Ace closes his eyes. 30 thief points, tp, dot. Ace opens his dark blue eyes that were now shimmering with determination. Ace lay unconscious Alina on the rug. Then he stood up and opened the hut door and head out. His destination was the outer rain pill market. Decryption. Note, now whenever Ace is going to communicate with the system I'm going to use, quotation mark and stylish front, instead of, apostrophe. So it will not mix in with his simple, thoughts and thinking. Chapter 7 Thief Skill Scout You are listening at NovelFull.audio Alchemy pill trading was maybe the biggest industry in the entire world. Because alchemy pills are used for many things, such as healing grave injuries rapidly, curing unmanageable diseases, and most importantly for cultivation. Legend has it some of the mystical alchemy pills can even resurrect the dead. Alchemy pills were divided in ranks, the same goes for alchemists who made them. There are eight known grades of alchemists in these lower lands below royal lands. But in the lands of cities, there were hardly any third grade alchemist. There are only fifth grade, also known as white alchemist, and second grade or green alchemist, available in low dot level lands. In River, Flower City there was only a single white alchemist and he lives in the inner region of the city in City Lord Mansion like some kings. Alchemists were treated like rare treasures in this world because only one person in a million has the talent to become a real alchemist. They were treated like rare gems, especially in places like Land of Cities where even a white alchemist was rare like phoenix feathers. River Flower City was only a two-dot star city, and it has a white alchemist and that alone gives the city very high standing even among one dot star cities. The reason for the alchemist being here was unknown, though. In the outer region of the city, the pills were made by novice alchemists and even they were treated with respect and because of it, they were quite an arrogant bunch. A novice can easily practice alchemy if they had a formula of a low dot level or half white grade pill and required medicinal herbs. Just by selling those low dot level pills to these alchemy pill shops, one can easily earn enough money to buy more materials. Even their failed pills were sold for quite some money. 
that's why even a novice alchemist didn't put anyone in its eyes. Underscore 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 Ace reached the outer region pill market in a hurry. Ace was gloomy as he was thinking about Alina's special condition and how the hell I'm supposed to rob that swindler's shop. Ace loiter around that fatty shop as he slowly observes him from some distance. He notices that Fatty treated everyone differently. He didn't see anyone's appearance and only looked at their clothes with that he judged them if they were poor or rich. If they wore high dot quality clothing, then he would treat them like they were his father. But if someone like him with tattered clothes comes, he looked at them with disdain and didn't even listen to what they need and gave them black or trash pills just like he did with him. Ace clenches his teeth in anger after noticing this and his heart bleeds just by thinking of being cheated by that bastard of eight gold coins. He controls his seething anger as he thought of a scheme to test the waters. He hurriedly looks around and saw a cloth shop near. He goes to the clothes shop, there was a young lady inside the shop. She was fair and beautiful, with a good slim figure. Welcome customer. Claire Aaron was an 18-year-old girl. She often came to her dad cloth shop to help him sometimes. Today is one of those days. When she turns around to greet a new customer, she saw a young skinny boy looking around curiously. The boy's face was very attractive. If it wasn't for his tattered clothes and his skinny figure, she would have thought that he was some rich family young master. Ace was looking for clothes when he hears a crispy voice of a young lady. He turns around and saw a beauty was looking at him with a hint of curiosity in her eye. Do you want to buy clothes or are you just looking around? Claire asks with a smile on her face. The little boy was looking at her embarrassedly and she finds it quite amusing. I doubt I want to buy clothes. Ace said tensely. Since he hardly bought clothes for himself before so he was quite nervous. He never talks to a girl before except Alina and if he didn't see her level of beauty before, he would think Claire was the most beautiful girl he had ever seen. He was now immune to it. What type do you prefer? Claire asks while smiling. However, inside she was startled by this boy's clear eyes as if he was seeing a normal girl. Ace looks around and he saw black attire. That attire was simple and had only some silver embroidery on it. I want that black attire. Ace pointed his finger as he said. Claire looked in the direction that Ace pointed, that black attire price is ten silver coins. So expensive. Ace muttered to himself. Ace takes a deep breath and half dot heartedly takes out a gold coin from his pocket. That was the last gold coin left. His heart was bleeding, he never thought that just a single attire would cost him ten silvers. When Claire saw a trembling gold coin in Ace's hand, she giggles while receiving his gold coin. If you want to change it here, there is changing room on the rear, or do you want me to pack it for you? I'll change it here. There was a clear pain of losing money in his voice. You can change first then, and I'll get your dues in meantime. She gives the new attire to Ace and left to retrieve his 90 silver coins. Ace quickly grabs the attire and goes towards the changing room. After some time, Claire returns with 90 silver coins in a Pam.size money pouch. Moments later, Ace comes out from the changing room in his new black attire. When Claire looks at Ace in his new clothes, she was stunned there, so handsome. That was the thought of Claire when she saw him now. He didn't look like the beggar like before. Even with his skinny complexion, he looks like someone with a status no one can tell this young boy was dirt poor from his look. When Ace looks at Claire, he thought she looked silly. Is that for me? He points at the small pouch in her hand. Claire awakes to Ace's voice from her daze. She quickly cleans her drool from her lips and replies in a panic as her face reddens, why why, yes and give him a pouch with silver in her hands. Ace receives the money pouch and hung it around his waist. Now he looks like some rich kid from a prosperous family. He was just turn around to leave the cloth shop when he hears Claire's voice from behind. W. What is your name, little brother? 
There was a deep blush on her cheeks. Ace looks back at her confusingly, why is she so polite now? He still answered Ace White. And leave the shop in a hurry. Claire mumbles in a low voice, Ace, huh. They say, clothes make men, it seems it's true. And her blush deepens. Ace was proceeding toward that fatty shop with his hands folding behind his back, similar to some arrogant rich kid. He observed before many of them acting this way, so he also copied them. Dot Billy Bill was famous for his cleverness and shrewd nature in the pill market of the outer region. He was one of the richest shop owners in the outer region. But commoners also know him by another name and that was, Billy the Swindler. Because Billy didn't have an ounce of morality in him, if he saw you are poor, he will cheat you one way or another. He disdains those poor commoners who come to his shop and will cheat them while thinking that he was collecting some interest from them for dirty his clean floor. Today was just like another normal day of work for Billy, and he was happy doing business in the morning. He even cheats a weak dot looking woman who comes to buy a healing pill. Billy was about to close his shop to eat his lunch when he saw a young boy in a black attire was walking towards his shop. He quickly judges him by his clothes like he always does. Hmm, his clothes look expensive, and the way he walks in his arrogant attitude, he is a big fish. He hurriedly stopped closing his shop and go to greet this big fist himself with a broad smile on his fat face. Welcome young master in this poor fatty shop. Rich people called him Fatty Billy, and he didn't mind it. As long as the other party has money, he didn't even mind them calling him a fat dog. The young man in black robes was of course, Ace. When Fatty Billy greets him with a hideous smile, his anger increases by few levels because Billy didn't even recognize him who he cheated on two days ago. He wanted to break his teeth with a punch but held his anger in his heart. He was acting like a rich kid now, so he has to act like them. He snorted, Fatty, I heard about your shop here sold good quality pills so I'm here to check if it is true or false. Billy's smile widens as dark lines appear on his face after hearing Ace, young master is polite but you didn't hear wrong my little shop pills are number one in whole outer region market, I can guarantee it with my life. Billy thumped his chest and his whole body wobble. Ace wanted to murder this shameless bastard after listening to his bullshit. He inhales deeply to calm his boiling anger. I'm not here to buy at this moment. I only came here on behalf of my family. If your shop has good quality pills, we will buy them in bulk. Ace stated as he suppresses his urge to kick Billy on the balls. It stunned Fatty Billy as he became extremely happy. He couldn't be from the inner region, right? Billy assumed, but he didn't dare to ask because if this boy was really from the inner region, then if he displeases him, he will die and no one even knows about it. Billy tested Ace. Yes, yes, young master, follow me. I'll show you our finest pill collection. He takes Ace to the rear of the shop but there was only a wall, nothing else. Ace became confused and about to say something when suddenly he saw Billy taking a thin little rectangular shaped crystal from his pocket. It was shiny blue and there were mysterious marking engrave on it. Then Billy sweeps this strange thing in front of the empty wall. Ace thinks this swindler has gone frantic when something miraculous happens. The empty wall disappeared and a white door appeared out of thin air. Ace was flabbergasted by this and his heart turns cold because he was here to scout and collect as much information about the shop, however, Ace didn't even imagine that there was a mysterious door here. He gravely thinks of the system's mission and thought about the rewards were based on his performance. This means if he didn't steal important things he will get only shit. Now Ace finds out that he has to open this door that he can't even see with eyes. How could he not feel despair and anxiety? At this moment Ace heard system voice in his mind, target in range. Did the host want to scan the target? Cost. Two thief points, what? Ace didn't know what this was all about but when he saw 2TP he think in resentment, she is robbing me again. I didn't even earn a single TP but I keep spending it. Just who's the actual thief here? 
he transmitted his voice in mind, scan the target. His remaining TP dropped from 14 to 12. Scanning start. Complete in 10 seconds. When Ace and System were talking only a second pass, Fatty was noticing Ace's reaction from the start and when he saw only a frown appear on his face and then he becomes calm the next moment, he becomes even more sure about his guess. Billy didn't dare to delay any more and quickly opened the secret door with the same rectangular crystal and gesture to Ace, young master, please. Ace enters the secret room. He saw two big bulky men standing there and both of them were weaponized. They are even guards in here. Ace looked around. There were two big shelves on each corner of the hidden room, and on those shelves were placed rows of shining bottles, and inside them were colorful pills. He never saw this many pills before and they differed from the black pill that this bastard sells him last time. Furthermore, after taking some breath here, Ace felt his body feeling refreshed and his mind was clearer, so that what real alchemy pills look like. He was truly amazed. Young master, what do you think of my little collection? They're all half, white grade pills. Fatty Billy said with pride and he looks fatter than before. Lower grade than white grade. When Ace heard half white grade, he was inwardly shocked because he has some idea that any of these pills can be sold at the price of 10 ruby coins one minimum and there were hundreds of them. This bastard is filthy rich. One ruby equals 100 gold. Chapter 8 System Stop You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ace calms his nerves and acts arrogantly, hmm, not bad, not bad at all. I'll immediately report back to my family and they will plausibly come here tomorrow to purchase all your pills. Now, I shall take my leave. Ace didn't wait for Billy's response and leave the secret room slowly. Ace pretends he has seen this kind of scene many times before, so Billy won't suspect anything. Just as Ace presumed when Billy saw him leave after just taking a glance around all the doubts he has about Ace's identity vanished and reflected, only a family from the inner region can pay for all these pills and if I form a relationship with this brat family, I can go to the inner region and move my business there. Billy snapped out of his daydreaming when he saw Ace was about to leave the shop. He chases after him to respectfully escort him out himself and bid farewell with a wide smile on his fat face. Ace has just left the shop when a system voice buzzed in his mind, scan complete. Ace's eyes shimmer with expectation after hearing the system notification because he was at a dead end now and didn't know how to rob this shop with that mysterious door and those two guards around. Just that door is giving him a tremendous headache. So he was expecting good news from the system. Ace quickly exited the pill market before opening the notification panel, which has an envelope like a symbol. All the notifications of the system can be seen here. Underscore 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 notification panel, target scanning report, total net worth. Converting according to the current money system equals 20,000 ruby coins worth of pills, 2084 ruby coins. Security. One trash illusion and lock array, two normal mortal warriors, and one lowest, level treasury. Evaluation. Impossible to rob with host current skills. Underscore 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 ace was speechless after seeing this report and cussed the system. Thank you very much for your motivation, you money. Grubbing scoundrel. That rich bastard, he also curses Billy next after seeing his wealth. Ace was truly perplexed by the number of ruby coins and never would have thought that this shop was worth this much. That fatty swindler makes this much money by cheating countless people. Ace's guess was utterly right because Fatty Billy did cheat lots of common people who can't do anything to him and he would never offend someone with status and power. That's why he is known as a shrewd business owner in the pill market. So that secret door called Illusion Array and those two guards aren't cultivators. 
well, that's good news at least. He continues to think with a gloomy look on his face. Ace returned with a grave expression and after seeing unconscious Alina, well I'll die in seven days even if I didn't take the chance and Alina would also die in three days. He becomes determined again. He has to succeed, no matter what. Abruptly, Ace remembered he hadn't checked the system shop completely last time because he was in a hurry and only checked the pill shop, not the other shops. He still has 12 TP left, so he opens the shop, hoping to find something there. System shop. Murmured Ace softly with full of anticipation. Underscore 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 system shop available skill books available cultivation technique available weapons available pills underscore 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 ace saw the familiar black panel again show me available cultivation technique he has never seen a real cultivator except for Alina before, much less a cultivation technique, and if not for the memories that give him some obscure idea about it, Ace didn't even know what cultivation was. He only knows that common people call them deities, and some even worship them. In Ace's mind, he was about to see a deity technique and was excited. Underscore 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 Available cultivation techniques, heaven stealer technique, first vault a price. 100 thief points, TP, dual shadow swords basic technique, price. 10 thief points, TP, underscore 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 underscore, so expensive. The price of these techniques did not surprise Ace, since they can help someone become a deity. Ace still spoke annoyingly. System Y is, Heaven Stealer so expensive compared to the other technique. This system was a true thief just like its name and he's sure of it after seeing this prize. He also remembered that Heaven Stealer pill, both have the same name, and both were expensive as well. The Heaven Stealer technique is a special technique for host only the host can cultivate it and it's tailor.made for a thief. After getting an icy answer from the system Ace mutters, specially made for a thief huh, well I don't have the thief points now and I don't want any swords technique as well since it won't be easy to learn in 3 days. What I want is a method to break that shop security. Open skill panel. Underscore 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 Available skill, stealth. Free, description. And basic skill for a thief once learned no one will be able to spot you, warning. Cultivators with one whole cultivation realm above you will be able to spot you. Pickpocket. Free, description. Hand movement skill so fast that no one can see your hand movement, excellent for earning quick money. Warning. Cultivators with one whole cultivation realm above you will be able to sense your skill. Silent steps. Free, Description. A basic skill of thief. As the name suggests, no sound will be made even while walking. Once mastered, one can even walk on water with no sound. LO warning. Cultivators with one whole cultivation realm above will catch you. True false eyes basic. Free, description. A must that have skill for thief. A thief's principal weapon is his eyes and his sharp senses. Because a good thief can recognize or smell rare treasures from miles away and if a thief can't even recognize a rare treasure, how can he be a thief? Warning. Never use it on anything powerful than you. Treasure opening hands, basic art. 10 thief points, description. Open or disable any low dot level arrays with your hands. It's a must that have art for thieves to open treasuries, warning. Don't open any to first grade treasures, underscore 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 this time Ace said nothing because he was in a daze after looking at so many frees. He rubs his eyes to check if he saw it wrong, yet it was free like free. Haha, so you have a conscience after all. 
Ace laughs out loud suddenly his face was filled with happiness while nodding his head in satisfaction like an idiot. Give me every skill available, especially that treasure opening hands you can have 10 TP. Ace said while smiled delightedly. After reading every skill description, he finally realized that system didn't send him to his death. These solutions one were always available to him, but he was so anxious about Alina that he didn't even notice them. After he gave his command, the 12 TP became 2 TP and all kinds of information enter his brain like before. However, this time he didn't feel any pain, rather he feels refreshed. Five minutes later, all the information about those five skills transfer into his brain and he remembers every one of those skills special stances, and how to practice them. When Ace opens his eyes, his dark pupils were golden. He saw the world has become clear like never before. He saw Alina and noticed the same vague status above her head like last time when the system made him spend a TP. However, it was not as accurate as of the system status because he can only see her cultivation and race nothing else. Although, the next moment, Ace suddenly felt a sharp pain in his eyes and screamed, Ah! He kneels on the ground with both hands clutching his eyes. The golden color in his eyes vanishes, and they return to normal as well. Warning! Host is not a cultivator so host only has a very limited amount of chi inside your body and your meridians are still closed. The system's advice is to first learn how to control your chi with other skills before using true and false eyes. If you overdraw your limited amount of chi, you can die as a result. Ace finally realized what has happened to him and comes to his sense. But the moment he regains his sense, he feels exhaustion and extreme hunger. Ace had a feeling that if he didn't eat anything, he would surely die because of this chi depletion. It was already evening, and he didn't eat any lunch today, so he quickly headed toward some meat stalls and by some meat and other ingredients. After cooking meat quickly, he ate like a hungry ghost. Now Ace didn't dare to try those skills anymore because of the lingering fear from before. He could only activate it because, for some reason, that skill is easy to understand. Ace wasn't surprised by this since he simply thinks that those skills were basic and anyone could learn them like him. He took the system's advice and practiced controlling that chi thing first. Then try studying skills again. Show me weapons panel. He was hoping to get another free from this last panel as well. Underscore 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 available weapons black blade sword set one short one long thirty thief points two face mask price eighty thief points invisible bead fifty thief points per bead five available one time use item duration one minute underscore 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 meanwhile ace saw the prices of the weapons and hurriedly closes the panel they were just too damn expensive if he could buy that invisible bead his chances of success would go up a level but this damn money dot grubbing system only gives him one for a whopping price of 50 TP and that was also one dot time use only for one darn minute. Ace quickly forgets about weapons for now and focuses on his free skills. He waits till night and then goes outside. There was an open park near the slums, this was the only park in this remote region of the city. But it was not well maintained and only poor kids played here in the morning. Ace was currently trying his silent step skill, this time as per system warning he tries to control his limited amount of chi and succeeds after trying for a few times. After gaining a little hang of his chi, he practices stealth until midnight. Practicing for a few hours, Ace felt extremely exhausted. He dragged his exhausted body all the way home and eat some leftovers from the evening and fell into a deep sleep. In the morning Ace opened his eyes today. He feels different from before he felt renewed. Little Alina was still the same as yesterday, but looking paler than before. I have to do it tonight. Ace has already decided. 
Last night, he practiced with two skills until his chi was drained. He quickly goes out and bought more meat. He suddenly felt that if he doesn't eat meat or other things with a high level of nutrition, he will die of exhaustion. And he was right because Ace wasn't a cultivator yet, so he only has a negligible amount of chi like any other normal person. Moreover, Ace didn't know that the skills he practices were the ultimate skills on their basic level, so he needs more chi than others. If it was someone else, that person might have died long ago just by practicing stealth. After eating two to three pounds of meat in his breakfast, he goes toward the common market again and bought a bag, a dirk, a full dot body black dress with a hood, and a pitch dot black mask. This much shopping cost him 40 silver coins. After his little shopping, he does some practice with his silent step skill because it was very hard to master and this was the crucial skill he going to use the most in tonight's foray. Skills Chapter 9 First Thievery You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Outer region of River Flower City in the middle of the night. Pill markets in the outer region remained completely open and running like usual because the alchemy pill trade will never stop no matter what the circumstances or time were, especially for the cultivators. In a dark valley near Fatty Billy's shop, a pair of dark blue eyes observed the lit shop coldly in the dark. Ace was here watching the shop for an hour now because he thinks that every shop closes at midnight just like in other areas of the city. Ace thinks that it will be easy for him to invade the shop when it's close, but he didn't imagine that the pill market in the middle of the night was like the day. If he has known this he would have made more adjustments to his plan. What to do now? He was quite depressed by the current situation. I only have one day left I have to do it no matter what I have to do it. Ace encourages himself and calms his nerves. He continues to look around for any new ideas but nothing comes to mind. Underscore 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 in Fatty Billy shop. Fatty Billy was in an extremely sullen mood because yesterday a rich kid from the inner region, in his opinion came to his shop and promised him that he would come with his family and purchase his pills. It was clearly a golden opportunity for him to befriend a family of the inner region. But to his dismay that brat never comes and that made him extremely furious. He even beat his servants for no good reason. It's already the middle of the night and business was slow so Billy was getting bored and sleepy. He simply decided to take a nap like he always does this time around. Billy didn't even have a shopkeeper because he didn't trust anyone but himself when it's come to money. That's why he manages the shop himself and closes it in the middle of the day some time for rest. In the valley, Ace was silently waiting for any possible opening or any chance, he was observing Billy's shop and his every move like a hawk. He was there for some time now and saw that Billy was getting lazy and even bobbing some time. Just a little bit more. Ace thought with full of expectation. Suddenly, he saw Bill closing his eyes and this was the opportunity. This was his only chance and after waiting restlessly for five minutes he finally made his move. Now or never. After taking a deep breath Ace activates his stealth skill. Ace felt a mysterious power or chi begin to circulate in his whole body and his figure begins to become transparent and slowly faded into the darkness. After going in stealth Ace begin to active his second dot most important skill the silent steps. He felt the chi making his feet extremely light like feathers. Ace darted towards the shop like an arrow, he was extremely cautious of his surroundings. Holding his breath, he reached the shop's entrance and successfully entered it without alerting Billy. Now that Ace was in the light of the shop if someone saw him with a little bit more focus they will be able to locate him because his stealth was not perfect yet. As he enters the shop Fatty Billy's eyes were closed and one can hear some snorts coming from his mouth. This bastard fall asleep good. Ace thought happily. Ace directly went to the rear of the shop with his silent steps. He saw there was nothing besides a normal wall, one couldn't even imagine that there was a secret door right here. Ace stopped using his two skills after reaching the wall, one could see beads of sweat on his head. 
It was extremely tiring to use both skills at the same time when he wasn't even a cultivator. He didn't have time to take a break and directly activates his third skill true and false eyes. Ace pupils turn golden and suddenly gleaming gray vertical lines on the wall come to his view. By connecting these vertical lines one could vaguely see an outline of a door. Strangely there was a little, dark hole, between one part of these gray lines. It was right at the middle right corner of the hidden door. Ace wasn't surprised by this dark hole because he knew this is a flaw in the array. He simply placed his index finger directly on the dark hole position and with a thought activates the skill, treasure opening hands, first form of treasure opening, finger key. There was a total of five forms in this skill and finger key was the first. Ace was barely able to master the second form with extreme difficulty. Maybe he was desperate to save Aline so he didn't notice his unusual speed of learning these skills. The moment the skill was active, his index finger became metallic, and a mysterious pattern appeared on his whole index finger. The moment those patterns appeared on his finger it began to insert into the dark hole like a key. In his mind information about this array structure began to appear. Ace wasn't phased by it in the slightest because he already knew it would going to happen and after getting the information about this array he subconsciously begins to move his finger mysteriously. Click, with a mild voice, the door formed in front of Ace. So that how this skill feels when it works, it's simply mysterious. Ace's forehead was filled with tiny beads of sweat but there was clear excitement on his pale face as he thinks. Since the illusion array was already disabled, it didn't take long before he opens the lock array with finger key as well. Ace hurriedly grabbed the door handle and slowly open it without making any sound. The door crack opened and the crack he peeks inside. Inside the hidden room, Ace saw those two worries were sleeping in corner of the room like logs. They're also sleeping looks like luck is on my side. Sleeping at this time was typical for those two guards because no one dares to steal from Fatty Billy. The biggest reason for that was no one knows where his treasury was, and even if someone knows they have to deal with this illusion and lock array first because the moment someone touches it the alarm would go off and everyone would become alert. That's why those two were sleeping without even caring for the security of this room. Ace was special though, he has skills from the system. No one can imagine that with his true and false eyes he can see flaws in the array and even he sees them no one would have believed that he has a skill like treasure opening hands too. He was a perfect thief with these skills. Ace slowly enters the room and saw those two muscle brains sleeping without even care about their surroundings. He coolly passed them and active his true and false eyes again. After scanning the entire room, he finally caught sight of what he was looking for. Oh, so that's where the treasury was hidden. Ace saw in the down right corner there was a little jagged wall there and hurriedly goes there. Ace reached the irregular wall with extreme caution and squatted there, after confirming again that those two idiots are still snoring he places his two fingers on the empty uneven corner of the wall. Just like before he saw grey lines forming a little door of a treasury but this time there were two dark holes between grey lines. Ace places his two fingers on two dark holes, treasure opening hands second form, two fingers keys. As soon as he activates the skill his index and mid fingers become metallic and begin to enter in dark holes like before. However, this time a new type of pattern was form on them. Just like last time he felt information about this lock array was flowing into his brain. Ace mysteriously moves his fingers, each of his fingers was doing different kinds of movements. This was quite the scene to behold, and one could see mysteries of treasure opening hands second form. After four seconds pass, ting, a sharp noise resounded in the deathly silent room. Ace was in a deep trance dot like state when he heard this sound it wasn't that loud but in silence, it was quite loud. His complexion was ashen and had a near heart attack, he quickly looks towards those two sleeping guards but they were still sleeping. It seems like they didn't hear anything. Sai, Ace has sight of relief. As he swiftly shifts his attention towards the open little door of the treasury. He lightly opens it without making any sounds. He saw inside of the treasury was filled with shining red color ruby coins. 
Ace had never seen this much money before in his entire life. There were more than 2,000 ruby coins there. Because Billy believed that today he would meet with rich inner region family so he quickly shifted his assets here to shows off his wealth and even bribed them to take him in the inner region. However, that gives benefits to little Ace instead, there were more than 4,000 ruby coins inside the treasury. Ace grabs the string bag from his back after opening its string, he smoothly begun to collect ruby coins excitedly. After two minutes of hard work, he collected every single coin, he's not going to leave even a single coin for that swindler. Now that he collect all coins in this little treasury there were only two red bottles left. Ace didn't think much of them because they also seemed like all those other pill bottles inside this room. But little did he know that these two pill bottles were more valuable than Fatty Billy's entire wealth. After cleaning the treasury Ace felt he was dreaming, he never imagined that one day he would steal from someone and steal this big of wealth at that it was all like an impossible fantasy. Ace didn't dwell on it for long since the mission was not complete yet and began to move towards the shelves. He gradually filled his bag with all the pill bottles inside the room and it became quite heavy. It was packed with pills and coins Ace think that he was in an illusion, I'm rich, he thought frantically. Now that thievery was finished it was time to escape, Ace slowly left the hidden room while those two idiots were still sleeping. I wonder what would that swindler do with them when he finds out about this foray. Ace couldn't help but wonder. He closes the treasury door like before with Ting, the illusion and lock array active again. Now was only the main door left between him and riches. Ace's face was pale as a ghost and his breathing was rough, sweat was dripping from his face and his clothes were almost drenched in it. This entire thievery put quite a strain on his little body and if not for his willpower he would have fallen right here and now. Ace grit his teeth and active his stealth again with his current condition he can only use this skill and even that was like a flickering candle. He moves towards the main entrance as mildly as possible, now that his bag was full he got slower and his energy was almost used up. If any misshape happens now he was doomed. Fatty Billy was still sleeping soundly and was having a dream of the inner region when he heard his shop door was open just now. He thought that it was just a customer so he lazily opens his eyes. With his hazy eyes, he saw there was no customer there at all. What he saw was a fully black clothes dot wearing person even his face was fully black. Fatty was still in a sleepy state so rub his eyes to see more clearly. But the black clothes person was the same and he was now running for some reason. Fatty Billy face turned pale with fright and screams on top of his lungs, Jitos t t t t t t t t t t t t His voice was so loud that nearby shop owners also got frightened and quickly comes out of the shops to see what has happened when they also saw a black clothing person running in the direction of the inner region. Their faces were the same as Billy and someone yells in horror, S. Someone quickly go and find a shaman and asks for his help there is a loose ghost loitering around here go quickly. The whole outer region pill market was thrown into turmoil. Fatty Billy was the most frightened of the bunch because he saw the ghost exiting his shop. He quickly goes towards his hidden room to get his guards here for his own protection. He hurriedly waved his key card on the hidden door and enter that hidden room. When he saw those two sleeping like idiots his face turns dark as charcoal and became extremely angry. You two lazy bastards get up quick there is go. Billy was just about to say, ghost, when his vision abruptly fell on the extremely empty. Yes, it was empty. Fatty Billy felt the world was spinning around him and his vision turns dark, he drops on the floor with a thud. The two guards opened their drowsy eyes when they saw Billy on the floor and his fat face was pale without any trace of blood and they quickly go to him and ask hurriedly, boss what happened? Look around and tell me what did you see? Billy said in a hoarse voice. He was hoping for a miracle and thought that he was so afraid of the ghost that his eyes were playing tricks on him. That's why he asked them for confirmation. When those two guards heard his question, they were very puzzled as they turn around to look but they also think it was very empty here. Yes empty. Their face also became pale and their knees turn into jelly, they also dropped to the floor like Billy. Bo boss did y.y. You move pills away. 
the tall one asks Fatty with a trembling voice. I'll fucking move your mom now I'll move your sister with her as well I'll fucking move your entire family. Fatty barked and started cursing like a dog that was on the verge of going berserk. Suddenly Billy thought of something and his heart skip a beat. He stopped kicking those two idiots and run towards the corner of the room. He quickly took out a red key card with a pattern on it. He waves the key card to the uneven wall and opens the little treasury and just like he thought it was also empty. Ha 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 gone all gone everything is gone. Billy laughs like a lunatic as the fat on his body tremble up and down. His entire wealth has been gone in smoke just like that. H. How the hell this happens you two were fucking with each other's when someone completely empties the entire room. Just W. Who in the hell did it damn it? Fatty howls like a madman at those two idiots when he remembers that black ghost. Q. Quickly go now and find that black. Clothed person for me. He's definitely the one who stole my wealth go quick. I doubt if you two return empty hand I'll fucking chop you in million pieces, goo. Billy shrills angrily as his eyes were bloodshot. He nearly choked to death in anger. Chapter 10 Alone again you are listening at novel full dot audio. Ace very carefully steps outside the shop's main door when suddenly his stealth wears off like some curtain. Ace's figure is revealed and now anyone can see him. I knew it, my chi runs out damn it. Ace swears at his bad luck when Fatty Billy also opens his closed eyes because in panic he opens the shop's door promptly. Run. That was the only thought that came to Ace's mind at this moment and he sprinted crazily. Ace was just at the corner of the street when he heard Billy's shrill scream fill with terror from behind. Ghost. What where? Ace was startled and quickly looked but there was no ghost, he was very afraid of ghosts. Oh, he means me. Ace thought of himself as he looked at the full dot back get dot up, he definitely looked like a ghost. Ace's complexion was ashen but he still sprints even faster. Other shop owners also came out by the time he was exiting the pill market and some of them saw him. They also start screaming like idiots. Ace ran towards the inner region direction because he didn't want others to think he came from the outer region. He wanted to mislead everyone. After running for five minutes, he turns around and saw there was no one following him. He quickly changes his direction and takes a big circle around the area. Now Ace was heading towards the direction of slums. On his way, he first goes to that rundown park and headed into a hidden area from everyone's outlook. No one can find it easily and the kids didn't play around here either. He quickly finds a light mark on the ground that he leaves this morning and hurriedly starts digging the marked area. After some moments he dug out a foot dot deep hole in the ground. Inside the hole was a little string bag, Ace quickly opened it, and inside was a new set of clothes that he bought today. He changed into these new clothes. This wasn't just any random hole it was his escape plane. Ace's plan was if he completes today's mission he would come here and hides the loot here until everything's cools down. But if he would have failed then he would escape and still come here for destroying the pieces of evidence. Thankfully he completes his mission successfully although he still gets spotted in the end, he escaped without any hurdle. After changing his clothes he buried the bag full of pills and coins with his black clothes and filled the hole carefully. Subsequently, Ace makes sure the area was clear and there was no trace of digging left. He nodded and quickly left. No one would have imagined that in this barren place buried a bag worth more than 24,000 ruby coins. After the deed was done and everything went according to Ace's plan, relief wash over him and he suddenly felt extreme exhaustion and feebleness. After all, he was under intense pressure this whole time. Now he just wants to go home and cure Alina as soon as possible. Everything is finally over. Ace laments and sighs deeply as he slowly headed to his home. Ace was just about to enter the slums area when he heard quick footsteps approaching. He didn't panic just keeps his head down and continue walking. Hey, brat. Stop right there. Ace heard a loud yell from behind. 
Ace immediately stopped moving and turned around and saw two men with big build approaching him. One was tall and the other was short, it's those two idiots. Ace thought with a hint of astonishment flash past his eyes. Yes, they were Billy guards after getting betting and cursing from Billy they were searching that black ghost high and low like some madman. But they didn't even find his shadow much less the whole person. Brad quickly tells us if you saw a black clothing person passing here or not. The short one asked quickly with a dangerous expression. No sir I didn't see anyone I was coming from my work, in the way here I didn't see anyone wearing black clothes. Ace answered calmly with politeness, he knew if he didn't answer them he'll be in trouble so he answered as respectfully as possible. Useless trash. Get out my sight. The tall one was in a very bad mood after getting a beating from Billy and after hearing an answer he didn't want to, he kicks Ace in the abdominal viciously. Bang, the kick landed on Ace's abdomen and he was in a very weak state, to begin with so he was sent flying after receiving the vicious kick. He wasn't able to block it and even if he can, he didn't dare to reveal his skills. Thud, he landed on the ground a few meters away from those two idiots. Cough cough, Ace coughed some blood and nearly fainted from the kick impact but he endured the pain and keeps his head as he trembles. Dot, let's go we didn't have time to waste on this trash, if we waste any more time and didn't find that ghost fatty will kill us both. The short one said as he pulls the big one with him and they left quickly. Well, you two are dead for sure alright. Ace sneered, his trembling was instantly stopped after those two left, but he was having difficulty standing up. I think something is broken inside. Ace smiles bitterly. After standing he starts walking like a cripple. After half an hour of bitter walk, he finally saw his little hut. A smile crept out on Ace's pale face and was just about to open the door of the hut when he saw that something was not right because the door was already open a little. Alina. Ace forgets about his injury in his exhausted body, he yells as he hurriedly opens the door and saw that the hut was empty and those two blankets that were supposed to be on Alina were neatly folded, arranged on a corner of the hut. When Ace saw this he can't endure the shock and he was injured and exhausted, to begin with, and now Aileen's disappearance gives him a huge mental blow as well. Thud, Ace landed face dot first on the floor with his eyes rolled upwards as he fainted on spot. Underscore 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 outside of River Flower City. Currently, two silhouettes were moving in the dim light of the moon at very fast speeds like the wind. By the looks of it, one silhouette seems little, and the other was tall and sturdy. They were moving in the forest and moving towards upper dot level regions of the Azure Wind Continent. Suddenly the small silhouette stops moving and a beautiful little girl reveals herself in the moonlight. Her little face was perfect without any flaw on it, she seems like a divine doll made with white jade. But currently, her beautiful blue eyes were red and tears were flowing down from them. It seems like she was crying for some reason. Grandpa can we not leave like this, big bro will be worried sick if he didn't find me and look for me around. Sets the small girl while crying, her gentle voice was filled with grievance. She was certainly Alina, after Ace left this evening to complete his mission she was still hanging between the border of life and death because of her blood awakening. But today her long dot lost grandpa come back to find her. He gives her a shining white pill with some kind of beautiful patterns on it and her condition change in an instant because her bloodline awakening was successful. Her black hair was now turned in silver color it was a sign of ice elemental, Hunter's bloodline has been awakened and she looks more elegant with it. Princess I finally made contact with your parents they were very worried about you. We have to make haste, living human territory as soon as possible. And you left a note and money for that kid he will live well for rest of his entire life with Princess Grace. Said the old man beside her, he was acting like some servant in front of Alina as he calls her princess. Budot but he is my big brother and he takes care of me of all these years, I can't even say goodbye to him. We might never meet again ever. Said Alina while crying in grief. 
She wants to tell Ace why she was here and who she was but this grandpa or hers never agrees to her request so she could only write a short note for Ace and leave with him hastily. Her heart was filled with bitterness, mortals and immortals can never live together. Said the old man coldly with disdainful eyes. If it wasn't for encounters a strong enemy that day and because of it he has to go into hiding he would never allow the princess to be molested by that lowly tramp. Alina looks one last time at the city or directly at the boy who always takes care of her like some princess. Even if he was poor he never let her felt any discomfort and call her little sis gently with full of love. Thank you for everything and I'm sorry big bro ace. Alina thought while tears dripping from her milky face and turn around entering the forest. After they both drifted away like silver smoke. Underscore 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 when Ace was unconscious, the outer region of River Flower City was in an uproar. The news of someone has stolen pill shop owner Billy Bill's entire wealth under his nose spread like wildfire and reached everyone's ears. News of this caliber was bound to spread like wildfire, even the inner region of the city gets the news. Hey did you hear, someone disable the illusion array without any sound and key card, he even opened a one dot start treasury in minutes. People say he was a black ghost and he disappeared like smoke no one can catch him. This kind to talk was everywhere in the city. People give the thief title of black ghost thief and every shop owner was afraid of black ghost. They were afraid that Black Ghost will pay a visit to their shop next. Everyone tightens their security around their treasuries because they were afraid and if that isn't enough they even hire more guards. On the other hand, Billy was still searching for the Black Ghost like a mad dog. Even the outer city guard post got involved in the search but they didn't find any trace of Black Ghost like he never exists, he has vanished in thin air. Fatty Billy was going mad over this. He even killed those two idiots guards after they failed to find out Black Ghost Trace. Billy also heard from nearby shop owners that Black Ghost has escaped in the direction of the inner region of the city that night. That's why he was even more angry and helpless because he can't do anything to the inner region. He tries to report this to outer city guards but they chase him away like some random dog. Now he can only vent his anger on people around him. Underscore 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 the inner region of River Flower City was two times bigger than the outer region. Inside a luxurious 15 dot story building, on the top floor of the building. A young handsome man wearing lavishing clothes that weren't even seen in the outer city. Currently standing in front of the window while reading something on the paper in his hand. Black Ghost Ha, huh, disabled a half dot star illusion and lock array without any sound and array crystal card, and even opened a one dot start treasury assumingly in minutes. Interesting how very interesting, find him he might be a useful pawn for us. Said the young man with a warm smile on his face. But there was no one around to hear him however, the paper in his hand had already vanished. He warm smile become dark and greed shimmer in his cold eyes as he drinks some wine while watching the city from the top floor of the building. A thief I, well this is all so good I won't be bored anymore. He chuckled and closed his eyes savoring the taste of wine.